Hey everyone, this is going to be the second last video in our series on how to use Scanny to find really good swing setups. So we are going to cover the trady buy and trady sell. These are based on our own algorithm. So whenever a uh, support or resistance level is crossed, so you always need some some kind of additional DD on top of these. But these uh, often work really well to generate some ideas. So so let's quickly go over one or two setups at max with these. So we have a trade buy. Let's see, we have trade buy, and since these this is these are based on support and resistance level, then we want to buy. I'll also use the support level. So we have the BMLN BLMN. Let's see. Okay, we have BLMN. We have MCD. We we already covered it. Yep, that's it. So let's go over BLMN because I'm not familiar with many of these other names. So BLMN. All right. Let's see. the The signal was generated about here because this actually means that the signal was there within the last uh, one to five days, and so we had April April first. So this means that we broke the we broke our resistance level or we bounced back from a support level within the last uh, one to five days. So let's just draw a line here. You can see that this is a really nice. Uh, support level so either the signal was based on this or we actually sort of broke the the level here because this was a resistance level when we went below it so we, we can see that if we entered here we entered at 26 and now we are sitting at 32 so again uh, a six dollar increase based on that signal and the fact that we were now above the the support line so we were right above the support line which gives us a really good reward to risk ratio because if we went below the support line that is going to act as a resistance so we'll just get out right away but we never did which is why this was an excellent setup it actually went up to 32 so good one let's see if we can find something for trady cell so we had apple we had bbby so let's see if any of these worked well so okay April so let's see so this was supposed to be a sell signal but you can see that uh, and the reason for that was that there was probably uh, an anchor VWAP right above it and then we should have a resistance level somewhere here you can see that this let's extend this let's go up a little bit this was a really good resistance level so you would never buy here right you, you might want to sell but you would never buy here but we can see that we, we didn't really respect any of these levels we just went straight up so this would be uh, a case where the setup didn't work so let's say if you went short here if you went short apple you will have your let's say ex uh, you'll have your exit here because you were going short here you want the price to go to this support level and then you're going to exit but this didn't sort of work so we just went straight up so again this was something this was a case where these things don't always work so you always need to spend just a little bit time doing your own, own dd let's see if bby worked all right okay this this was bby it probably looked at these three candles to see that we came back from this strong resistance level and that's why it gave a sell signal we can actually see that that sell signal was good because we hit this level once more but we are down from let's see 29 28 to about 24 so again uh, about a five to six dollar uh, profit on if you shorted the shares or if you bought puts then a lot more so this was again a very quick uh, video on how what these mean these are based on support and resistance levels and how to best use them so the next video is going to be the last video where I'm going to talk about some long term investment strategies, uh, just one long term invest investment strategy based on scanning. So I'll see you guys in the next video.